So me and my mom went to the thrift store today and we got these like dollar store frames. No, they weren't dollar store, <laughs> thrift store frames. This guy, which is really ugly. Like, well, the painting inside is really ugly, but I really like the frame. It's from the 80s and it's super nice. It has like these staples in it. Um, it's made of like actual wood. Um, it's real glass and it's really nice. And I got it for a super good deal. And I wanna do like a portrait in it. I think it'd be cool. I like the pastel colors and it's pretty big. Um, the problem is, so this, the frame was like super well put together. There's like staples in it and it had that um, paper on the back that closes it all off. It was a pain to get everything out. But um, this outer piece and this inner piece are like glued together. Like they really didn't want this thing breaking. So we're gonna paint the back of it some gesso on it. I think this is going to be cool. I'm going to try to get this done next week. There. I also have this piece I'm working on. Which looks a little ugly right now. But. Alright. And then. Oh, I got this guy. And this one's also super well made has the paper thing in the back of it. I'm not gonna work on it in this video. I kinda just wanted to show it off because it's a really nice frame as well. I don't think it's real wood though, but it's pretty hefty. And what's crazy about these frames is even like, they're super well made and stuff, right? This one would have been worth uh, like $100, like if we bought it fresh off the market. First of all, hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a bit. Um, I've, I've been working on stuff, I promise. Um, yeah, so for today's painting, it's not actually on canvas. It's on the back of a print. So we're gonna need to put a really thick layer of gesso down. Usually when you're doing gesso, you wanna do a bunch of thin layers so it's smooth, but I wasn't focusing on as much on that and more on getting that nice texture you see in the sketch here. I left my canvas at my dad's, so I kind of had this awkward um, painting sitch on the floor. That way it could stand upright, that way I could get a proper look at it. And it's easier to record that way too. So since the frame is from like the 80s and it has that kind of style, I kind of want to lean into it with the colors, with that pink and white, with a really bold like teal and yellow orange vibe. Um, another thing I was focusing a lot on was this forest perspective. It's kind of like she's leaning over and checking herself out in the mirror, which we love that. We love that vibe. Um, yeah, there isn't a whole lot of shading in this piece. It's more just um, trying to capture the true color of the skin. Um, yeah, I really like the stylization of this piece. It's very me, I think. My friend came over yesterday and when she saw it she was like no this is this is you it's exactly your style Some of the proportions were a little off, especially in the eyes, and I feel like depending on the color you use for the liner, when you're going over such blotchy skin, it can make it look a little out of place and like it's not a cohesive piece. So that's something I struggled with a little bit. Um, and the liner, like I said, was like a little off. And when you're doing it in a certain painterly style, the proportions don't need to be perfect, obviously, because the face isn't perfect. It just kind of messed with me a little bit, honestly.
I think the style of this piece was really well achieved. I don't, I didn't really realize how my, I had an actual style in like the last couple of months. Some girl DM'd me on Instagram and she was like, wow, I just love your style. Like it's so developed and I, I really didn't even consider myself to have a style until really recently. And I think this piece perfectly embodies that style. Um, which I'm really happy about. It's really cool to have a piece and you can look at it and be like, oh, I made that. It's very me. I think the colors are me, the styles are me, the subject matter is very me. I really like it. So during the middle of this painting process, um, some stuff happened in my life that was quite unfortunate and honestly deplorable luck. Um, and I had to talk to some people I really didn't want to talk to. and. I was kind of sad, so a lot of footage was just not recorded. Um, it takes a lot of extra energy to record your art and make it at the same time. It's just so much extra energy you have to think about, so much other stuff. So honestly, there was a couple hours of painting that I just didn't add because I just wanted to be sad and draw. <laughs> Um, but during that lost footage, I added a couple of other mediums. There's actually water-soluble crayon, um, colored pencils, and Posca pen in here. Um, especially in the facial region. Um, it's kind of hard to see it on camera, but if you look at the piece up close, you can see a lot of the marks from this. And I think it adds a lot to the style of the piece as well. Um, yeah, it, it's very stylized. The shirt was kind of weird. Um, I kind of hate painting fabric, um, just not as enjoyable as painting skin, but I knew I had to add at least a little bit of detail to it so that way you could fully understand what was happening and that she was leaning over and stuff so the forced perspective would make sense. I don't even know if I'm using that word right. I actually really enjoyed doing the hands once I got into it and fully embraced it. Um, I actually did it twice. I did a underpainting and more realistic tones for the hand and then I did a painting on top that had like the really poppy bright oranges and yellows and then I eventually went in with the crayons and stuff in there too. It looked pretty banger by the end. Um, I think there was footage lost there too. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, it's hard recording like six hours of painting without losing any of it, unfortunately. Because um, when you're recording, it, the, the power goes down quicker, you run out of space, just literally everything happens. <laughs> I added some hair clips and stuff because um, I think it really adds to the style of the piece. I, I really enjoy this style. It's kind of cute and a little sexy, I guess, and it's uh, also it's very like childlike in a way, and I kind of wanted to bring that out in this. So here I'm just adjusting the eyes a little bit because um, they kind of look like two different eyeballs for two different people. I wanted them to be a little bit more cohesive. You know, just just did a little finishing touch-ups, I guess, and then I had to clean the thing because this is a 40-year-old frame, um, and the glass was so gross. I, I kid you not, when I was cleaning it, there was like streaks of yellow and green on it. I don't even know want to know what it was. Anyway, this is the final piece. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, tell me what you think in the comments or DM me or something. Or don't. Bye.